I know that a lot a lot of work went into assembling what is this bill over uh, long periods of time, as Rachel and I were just discussing. But it's hard to believe that you would have had that day today in Congress, that this would have been the day uh, when uh, the House Democrats decided it's time to present this bill uh, and present it uh, in as comprehensive a fashion as you did. Uh, how long did it take between uh, the events of uh, what happened in Minneapolis uh, to get to the point where you all agreed it was time for this legislation? I think it was the culminating fact. I can tell you, Lawrence, we have been working on pieces of legislation well before the George Floyd, well before Breonna Taylor, well before Ahmaud Aubrey. This is something that we have been watching. And I think when America has spoken, when you look at all the protesters, when you look at everything, we're here at this moment in time and this comprehensive, bold legislation is something that's needed. When you're looking across America and you're looking at the number of people who are saying enough is enough, what affects any one of us directly affects all of us indirectly. So we're doing all those things that you just mentioned. We're putting the no chokehold. We're putting the no, uh, the ban on no knock warrants. We're making sure that all police officers have body cameras, that there's a dashboard camera in all of the police cars. And we're not putting any more monies into the police departments. We're making them repurpose the dollars that they have for de-escalation training, for cultural training, because here's what must happen. We must change the practices, the protocols in our police departments at the state, the local, at every level. And that's our role in federal government. When we've watched what's happened across America, this has been a long time coming. And what I'd like to say, Lawrence, is today we're breathing for George Floyd. 